What up, y'all? New computer, new camera. That's right. Y'all heard me complain about it before. Got me a new laptop, fam. Hey, uh, y'all check out these shirts, too. But um, we'll get to that. This video is about how to increase the size of a third-party VST <clears throat> plugin. So if you have a large resolution, uh, sometimes when you, when you load it for the first time, um, it looks, this is how it normally looked. This is how it looked when I first got it. So I'm like, okay, this is very small. Um, so I actually had to email them and figure this out, but it's literally for letter X. It's literally just right here where it says size. So you just go to size and you just pick a bigger size. Um, there's other options as well. Uh, it's not working. Query quiet restart. All right. No, I don't know about that one. Um. <laughs> All right, so that's just me experimenting, but um, yeah, let me go back to the uh, normal, the big one. So this is the one that I shaped it to. Start over. This is the one that I'm rocking with now. So as you see, it's a lot bigger than the normal size. So, and then there's another thing you can do to mess with the size. I would try to do this first. If you don't have Letter X, there's probably another way. And if you, like, obviously there's another way. But if you just uh, message, message the people that made the VST and just ask them. That's what I did. So I don't know how to do it on every single VST. But uh, you'll see like the stock ones look normal. Like Shakura, normal. But this one came extra small. The other, one, the other way you can mess with the size is go to general settings. And you can mess with it here. I don't like it because it just looks blurry. Um... The way it is in your system is is probably the best way to look. I've seen I look and I looked at videos that that messed with this and suggested this over doing what I just did, and which is why I made this video because um, that's just bad advice. And it, that's the thing with life, YouTube, Google, whatever. Um, like the the number one result might not even be the might not be the best answer. It might not even be the right answer. Because if I would have gone with that, I'd have a blurry uh, screen. And that's not cool. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Y'all mess with the GUI size. You, you can also mess with it, mess with the resolution of your actual computer. But if you're just trying to change the size of the VST, uh, figure out how to do that. Figure out how to do that on the specific VST. Y'all go and check out these shirts, man. Y'all go and check out these shirts, man. Uh, oh, yeah, man. I almost forgot. I'm, like, so, so small. I can't increase this. Dang. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I did that on purpose. But then I was, like, mid-video, I was, like, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. It looks kind of funny to me because it is just, like, so small. It's almost, like... It's almost like I'm not even on camera. Like if I did this, you probably you probably wouldn't even notice. You'd be like, "Wait, is he actually on camera?" Like at the end of the video, lol. That was a that was a very lol moment, y'all. Very lol moment. All right, guys. Any questions? All right, great. Well, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for subscribing, watching. Get the How to Make Beats book. Get the T-shirt. Slime Green Beats. We out.